Hello there, beautiful people. What's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. It's uh, tonight. It's pretty late. You can see 2.40 a.m. here and I am uh, going to be doing a couple of videos for you. First episode is this uh, very important topic. I was requested to do this video by one of our members. So this is a requested video. I will talk about it, but uh, I am really unwell. So I'm having warm milk before we go for uh, our uh, you know um, morning breakfast for uh, our fasting day tomorrow so voice is a little bit down as you can tell this new virus everywhere in bangladesh right now spreading like people are talking about it's kind of like covid so i don't know what it is but uh, it hit me pretty bad so yeah i'm suffering a little bit alongside the whole country hopefully it will get better as the weather changes so the topic that i have today first topic is this one i have put a bunch of fragrances about eight i think eight yeah, eight, eight in total, I think eight or nine, yeah, whatever. So these are random fragrances from different brands, different price ranges. And the topic is, uh, how long is the expiry uh, date? How long do you have before the fragrance go bad? Or do they really have a expiry date? Do fragrances go bad? If they do, why, when, how long is it good for? You know, these kind of questions. Hopefully, I will not take too many pauses because every now and then I feel need to cough it out so voice would be out but uh, yeah some of you are not being able to hear me properly because of this thing you know so let's start yeah so a few days back uh, one of our brothers shared in our group i think uh, he shared a video from one of the influencers who is more popular on instagram i think i think he used to do video with jeremy as well the suit wearing guy i do not remember his name but i think real man real style something right so i don't really follow him because his fragrance reviews are not really real reviews for me um, like genuine reviewers are our regular reviewers, Steven, Robes, uh, 08, and then, you know, um, the many other reviewers out there. So you guys know. So Sebastian, okay, for example, Max 40, these are our uh, conventional reviewers. But uh, he did a kind of like a video which is important that he said, how long before a fragrance goes bad? You know, I think uh, I did comment on that post that there's no exact science. So I will explain it to you with examples okay so as you can see if you go by examples it will be easier for you to understand i have done this exact same video with different examples few years back so let's redo this because there are many new people in the community so first fragrance i have is here is a ch men thai version and i will show you the bottle <clears throat> for significant purpose this is about uh, 30 <clears throat> no not 30 this 25 ml left in this vintage bottle and then i have an old version of instant crush I have about 10, maybe uh, 12 ml. So this is like the screw cap version, which is also vintage. Okay. And then 212 Sexy Men Discontinued Fragrance. This is a very old fragrance. Uh, here is Lamal on board. Relatively not that old, but still has some years already. Then this one is Ojan. So understand they are from different time period. Okay. So I don't exactly remember their uh, batch code, but the Chrome Legend is the old version. This is a very old fragrance. I have seriously about 40 good ml left in there then i have ck eternity now okay for men uh, let me tell you all the names then i will get into the discussion next one would be john barbados artisan aqua okay and i will go one by one once again the last one is fahrenheit 32 which is from dior so you can see we have the cheap fragrances here like this one eternity now is around 35 dollars 40 uh, chrome legend used to be 25 35 bucks then we have uh, the Kevin Herrera, Lamal, these are around 60, 65, 55. Manseras are usually like, depending on where you get them from, 80 to 150. CH Men used to be 55, now around 65 to 75. Uh, John Verbetos used to be $35, now gone up to 60, 70. And Dior's are around uh, always above $100 now. And the uh, Wojan by Parfum de Marly, it is expensive. I think current market price is around 200 something dollars. So, yeah, I read all the names. Why? All the fragrances you see here, all these bottles, they have gone bad over time. And not necessarily for one or two reasons. There are different reasons, okay, different brands. And I'll tell you, when I say there's no exact science, uh, you'll understand better. So, for example, I'll show you a bottle which is almost like a very, very full. You might think like, oh, if it's empty, more air in there may go bad. No. Check out this Lamal flanker. Okay. So, this is about like more than half full, okay. And then uh, Artisan, okay, Artisan Aqua. This is also like uh, less than a little bit less than half full, but a um, lot of juice in there. 
this one 212 sexy man i think inside the juice i think is around 60 ml or 65 mil left but some of them are really low more air okay let's talk about air first ch man the vintage we have more air than the juice uh, also same with fahrenheit 32 this video is going to run a little bit long please bear with me if you really care about this topic and you want to uh, play the game better okay this is to help you okay i don't really need to do this video for pros they know already so according to uh, my experience this is what i'm going to share i am not a chemist i'm not a fragrance manufacturer i do not know the exact science or chemistry behind making perfumes like alcohol or let's say perfume oils ingredients i am not master of that i'm an end user i buy perfumes i use it just like you and i do share with you my honest take how does it smell how does it how long does it last apart from that uh, if it's good value for money which season you can wait for stuff like that but when i buy so many fragrances i get to experience okay over the years what happens okay some fragrances like uh, they do uh, not go bad <clears throat> but they do change in color like jean paul here this is lamal essence de parfum this when i bought this this used to be a purple colored juice okay now it's dark brown but I do not feel that fragrance has gone bad it just became more intense and the opening changed but when i started my game 2016 uh, my one of my fragrance guru steven red lessons i learned a lot from him from his channel and he's one of my inspiration to do this work i always post in his group and i'm lucky to call him as my brother and friend so he did share if your bottle is more filled with air than the juice highly likely they're gonna go bad quickly doesn't matter regardless of their age uh, because usually on the box they will give a production like a batch code so middle eastern perfume they mention the date like it's produced in 2022 march 3rd and they give like three to five years of shelf life you'll see the exact date but designer and niche they don't do that most of the time it's a batch code then you check on check fresh check cosmetics you guys know the drill and then you see when it was produced then you know from that year like let's say 2022 or 2020 then you count three to five years shelf life safer three years like uh, 36 months so what happens in those 36 months is it like a guaranteed the fragrance is gonna stay good for those three years are they gonna last any more any less so these are questions people have and uh, Steven did discuss when there is more air it happens that it will ruin the juice inside what's remaining and it will start killing the top notes it will start becoming alcohol okay like when you spray it it will be very off-putting alcohol and it's better if you have lower juice okay like less amount of juice use it up quickly before it goes bad okay if you don't they become spoiled or ruined uh do they really go bad for me not all you know some of the fragrances i do you know what i do like let's say chrome legend it used to be a very strong apple tea tonka mask uh the thing is it was very sweet opening but now when i spray i definitely smell that alcohol and it stays about five to seven minutes okay after that is gone it is like really beast mode of that old fragrance dry down right so chrome legend at its glory dry down is fine so what i do is i spray on the shirt before i leave the house i spray the fragrance on the shirt i hang the shirt for 10 minutes okay then i put it on i don't put it on my skin so when you start smelling like a little bit off like a little bit of a off uh like the fragrance has gone a little bit like you know off-putting or alcoholy you may use it as a air freshener room air freshener or bathroom air freshener but on most part i would say you can still use it but it could be a little bit dangerous to your uh, system and health why because uh, some of the chemicals that you smell this is not natural right like when you smell a flower it's natural you smell water a lemon from the tree these are natural but when you see compounds perfumes uh, like synthetic ingredient based perfumes these are all uh, chemicals right like based on though it's just scented water but a lot of ingredients gone in there so some of them could be uh, injurious to health especially if you have uh, like sensitive nose or like me you get sick and you uh, it, it it makes it worse smelling perfumes imagine like alcohol will make it much more worse right you can have nose injury inside and you may lose your sense of smell for a very long time so this could be injurious so my best suggestion is if you are sensitive to these kind of things do not use expired perfumes okay you can use it for the bathroom air freshener let's say you uh, you took like a big one right <laughs> number two and it smells right uh, you, you don't want to buy you are too cheap to buy air freshener use these fragrances up right i use them some of them uh, like two one to sexy man i use it uh, because i don't use it on my on my uh, like 
clothes or like skin anymore because they would burn right so for me my suggestion is to send if you really feel you know you are too attached to your fragrance do that shirt application do not put it on your skin and smell it after 10 minutes fine but here is one thought okay some of you be like uh, why do fragrances some of them go bad early some of them go never go bad and some of them go bad like in a very long time like some people preserve their perfume for 20 years and after 20 years people say oh my fragrance start going bad and that point you know you'll be like oh really 20 years and you're still not happy people will be happy with the toyota if it performed 20 years they'll be so much happy right like a camry lasted 20 years How, you'll be happy that's that's great i don't need any more of my camry in my life but here is what i feel this is my theory okay in bangladesh we live in a country so much of corruption we learn a lot of things from these corruptions right uh, people sell fruits and they inject uh, chemicals in there like to make them sweet or colorful inside like watermelons they make them so much red it looks like blood in there right so really really red but sometimes you'll see we have some mandarin oranges they have imported from china 10 days back and the leaf on that mandarin orange of the fruit is still fresh and when you see it you'll be like how is that possible 10 days a fruit should be rotten right no nope, nothing happens so they use these uh, chemicals and uh, when they do use the chemicals what happens is they keeps the outer layer like polished and you know out from outside it looks brand new and shiny sorry a little bit more sip yeah so that comparison i'm trying to give is it's not the same application like it's not the same fragrance nothing natural about it but the fruits inside they're rotting and then you know if you take this it's going to be bad for your limbs and your internal organs but same way fragrances they use sometimes uh like organic like really uh, original ingredients like real ambergris okay if i show you side by side some of the fragrance houses like creed royal wood they apparently use uh like ambergris in there wood in there and then highest of quality uh, this is an expensive fragrance mind you but i never seen i have never seen any of my creeds have gone bad uh, maybe the silver mountain water in the top note a little bit weird but never gone bad or alcoholic so you can say some of the niche houses when they use natural ingredients they may go bad uh, like after their time period is finished like expiry date is finished because that's how long they're supposed to serve but like fragrances like this is one of my oldest bottles like interlude man i have about good 20 ml left in there this house any of my ammo wash i never seen gone bad none of them reflection man your name uh jubilation sunshine man uh, beach hut man i have plenty i had many lyric man this and that mor so some of these expensive houses their fragrance quality is so good they never go bad and uh that is not a surprise because you pay a lot of money you expect that right but i also will show you a designer house this is to 25 pounds midnight in paris very old bottle of mine discontinued very hard to find i cherish it i do not uh, use this uh, that often because it is a special fragrance never have gone bad so much air left inside you see so much more air than the juice then another fragrance this was one of my oldest perfumes i have a special story with it burberry brit rhythm halfway full i sold my mobile phone in malaysia to buy this this used to be like 350 or 60 ringgit right so that was expensive for burberry but i bought this fragrance i still have it no issue Lanu de Lom, no issue. But uh, another fragrance, YSL, Lom Libre. Okay, discontinued, very old fragrance, very hard to find. Yeah, I have more juice than air, but never so far by luck, doesn't go bad. So the last one I'll give you an example is a funny one because I'll show you the same bottle as CH Men. That one is uh, almost empty. This is more full. Okay, I bought this recently. It is a vintage batch, very hard to find. This one <coughs> opening. It smells a little bit alcohol like for 10 seconds right the new one the old one smells like alcohol for at least 10 minutes so what happens is on the dry down they both smell great okay and i don't mind it i do wear ch man okay ch man preview so you see designers niche cheap expensive anything there is no given guarantee like you cannot say the expensive one will last all the way but the cheaper ones will not there's no exact science like for example ck eternity now this is a cheap perfume gone bad but at the same time Wojan, this is about this much full i was very happy to be using one fine day i'm like what is this alcohol right so that's an 200 300 dollar cologne why did it go bad i don't know right so the ultimate discussion here is there's no exact science that is my answer second thing is it's about luck okay if you are unlucky 
let's say you stored it perfectly in the fridge you stored it in a very cool dark place as they suggest you would expect it to last forever right nope wrong my dad had this fragrance Fahrenheit 32 full bottle and like here it was intact my mom gifted to him like in 19 I don't remember 2001 to I don't know whenever it was long back and then he never used it because he used to use like one perfume at a time like Armani code open finish the bottle then boss bottle finish then open another one that's how he rotated so one fine day when I started collecting 2016 I was getting into Chanel Aliron Sport O Extreme the hype uh, Edition Blanche and I noticed inside his cupboard he has this fragrance I was so excited I took it out I opened the cellophane and then I sprayed it and guess what alcohol absolutely brand new never sprayed stayed always in the dark uh, dark dark uh, in the room and their room used to be always most of the time ac right there's no heat i don't know how that gone bad but it did it did go bad full bottle so you see you need luck also even if you store it properly you follow the instructions use up your fragrances guys you know if you store it forever some of the your you know merchandise may last forever but fragrances perhaps will not let's not risk it okay and i'll tell you one of the worst houses i'm telling you it is notorious for going bad is jean paul gautier okay um i have seen three to four of my fragrances have gone bad relatively young okay this one i bought it within two to two and a half years gone bad i had lebo okay then i had one summer version it smells like off putting on the top like up top the top note is gone so some brands i think they are a little bit inferior in terms of their ingredients show you one more one last one where is my bottle gone i took it out isn't it ah oh, man hold on yeah sorry about that i am really absent-minded today this is invictus okay i bought this cute little bottle in 2016 when i started my journey from malaysia i traveled all over malaysia with this bottle and i always loved it because this was 250 ringgit for this little 50 ml but when I brought it in Bangladesh, it has gone bad. I used to use it still in room. Just kept it as a memory. Okay, I do have a big bottle of Invictus, some of the other ones. This one also went bad when it was nearing to finish. So yes, end of the uh, story. So now, what are the reasons I already told you? It could be that expiry date, you should follow it. Three years shelf life. Follow it, finish it within that time. High likely you'll be fine. If you are a huge collector, it's high likely you never finish your fragrances, but at least keep them in a cool place. Some reviewer one time, long time back, said, um, like, bro, if you really want your fragrance to be stronger, leave it in the open sun, like where the sun is, sun ray, ray of the sun is coming in, and it will break down the molecules and it will rebuild it. I don't know what was his science, but he did say that. And he said your fragrance will be stronger, much darker in color. I think that was perhaps not valid or like there's no real science behind it okay so uh, three years follow that rule if you want to push uh, five years perhaps but within that time if you notice that you're not using a fragrance my suggestion is if you're not using it one if you're not uh, like decanting it if you're not like looking at it it's just like laying down lazy sell it off sell it off invest in some more new fragrances they will give you more shelf life okay and uh, <clears throat> is it like a distinction between cheap and expensive perfumes no anything can happen to any fragrance okay this is what my understanding is but um, on most part 98 percent approximately my fragrances or even 99 percent they are all fine okay aquamara aquamarina can look at it ferrari fragrances my middle eastern perfumes zerjovs salvatori never gone bad montals never gone bad right ysl never gone bad so use them up one thing second thing is if you are not using it sell them off okay uh, where to uh, store your fragrances not in the bathroom not in the shower room because they're going to be steam in there heat and then uh, less heat uh, so that the temperature will mess with your fragrance some people keep fragrance in the fridge with food i do not know what to say do not put fragrances in a fridge where you keep your food right the smell can go inside this or from this chemicals it can go inside your food both ways is poisonous okay if you have wine cellar in foreign countries they do have chillers or wine cellars where they put their wines you know your booze there yeah you can put them no problem but in general no direct sunlight no uh, high heat not very extreme hot condition not in your car do not store fragrance in your car especially body sprays they may explode because due to the heat the bottle will expand and boom okay that can happen so these are 
my two cents these are my observations this fragrance last one i forgot to mention is john barbados artisan aqua 2012 i think or 15 one of these years in london or manchester my sister gifted it to me and i used it like this much then i had so many so much collection so i stopped using it one fine day i just want to spray it uh, i felt it was gone bad and also the small atomizer 15 ml also gone bad so yeah uh, this is just random right but uh, you can take a screenshot of these fragrances if you are worried yeah these fragrances sometimes go bad these are some examples right okay and uh, if they gone bad you know what to do either throw it away or use it as a air freshener outside outdoors where people are not smelling it directly that will be fine okay there you go that's the video long video i told you i just maybe missed out one or two points but uh different people have different experiences right uh there you go uh, hopefully this helps and uh do let me know your experiences and what are your suggestions regarding this and if you have an explanation uh behind you know expiry dates on fragrances have a nice day see you soon good night